So the main reason why we were going after all that gear and trying to farm and get prepared is because we are going to go tackle the Kilovolt mission today. Along with that, we're going to be completing DLC 1, but the main priority we're going to be doing is completing DLC 1 for a stack bot after we get done with the Kilovolt mission because that is where the real grind is going to start. Uh, we need a really good stack bot and we need to get ourselves that beautiful sexy monarch from Kilovolt. So we're going to go ahead, go talk to Moxie, get the mission going, and hopefully it goes well. Uh, that is why I was trying to gear up. Where the hell is Moxie? So now obviously this is going to be a very farm heavy episode uh, just because we have so much gear that we have to try to go after. Oh look at this fucker. He's holding one. Look at that. Ah oh, you bitch. Bitch. Should have been the Lyuda. Really? Really? Can only let me do what I'm trying to do here? <sighs> Who's healing? Get out of here with that. Jeez. Right over to the mail and bam. Ooh, I got a vicious later. Nice. I don't know why it does that. You just come out of your mail and just toss a grenade. Alright, so we are back in DLC 1. Thought I would go ahead and complete this DLC, unlock a nice uh Stackbot farm, since the one we have is not bad, but we can definitely do better. We have two pretty good ones. Uh, but man, I have had a week. Holy crap. That is why this has uh, taken me a while to get to this point and try to upload a video. Because man, my week has been insane. So we've got some kittens living in a bathroom. Um, they're still tiny, but uh, they somehow managed to run around and start the sink up. 
and the water ran all day and flooded our house. So that uh yeah, that was a project for a day or two. <laughs> Pit. What the fuck? I missed you, little friend. Death, welcome to you. I really just started all the way at the fucking start of this. And, oh yeah, we can actually use the ion cannon. Forgot about that. Alright, so it is the next day. Uh, I decided to end that recording session because I was so tired that I flat out had no enthusiasm. <laughs> I told a story about kittens flooding my house using a uh, bathroom sink, and it was not interesting in the slightest because I was so tired. Anyway, we are here on DLC 3, and we're going to be going after the dowsing rod, and then I think the miscreant, I think is what it is. Now, I could go get the dowsing rod right now, but I have to go do a bunch of parkour, and quite frankly, it just makes more sense to progress because by the time I get to the miscreant area, I'm going to have the teleporters unlocked anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and progress through, and once we get those, uh, we're going to have to figure out what we want to do from there. Uh, I gave up farming the stack bot for now because I just was not getting what I needed. <laughs> Did I just get that shit on the first drop? Yes, I did. Alright, so... Um, Alright, now to get the dowsing rod, you're going to be killing uh, Terra Do Domini? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, so... Right here is the spawn point. Just ride your jet beast over to this little area. And then from there, you just kind of run through, and then eventually you'll find that teleporter I found. Uh, right here yeah so you'll go right here and then you'll spawn over here and kill him just like you saw there we go get it yep oh that's disappointing <laughs> oh tell me we got it first shot ah oh, damn it we did Crap, so we're gonna have to come back and fight this fool. Ha, there it is. Never mind, that is a light show. A fucking amazing one. Alright, cool. Damn it. <laughs> ha, there it is. Cool, got the miscreant. Not bad. Hey, we got the miscreant. Fuck yeah. This does again. So Tron here. Not bad. If the barrel was a little, a little larger, it would do a lot better. All right. So now we are on arms race to hopefully get ourselves the kick charger. And of course, we don't open at all with a light off weapon. It's always nice, isn't it? He's got the uh, boogeyman. Good. What should I 
being sent back. Okay, well, if we don't get the uh, kick charger, that's fine. We at least got a radiation boogeyman. Well, uh, I died again in arms race, so I said to hell with it. We don't absolutely absolutely need the kick charger. We're just gonna just gonna call it there for today. Uh, I was not getting lucky at all in that stupid storm. Uh, it just it wasn't happening. It was not the not meant to be. And really, if I want a kick charger that damn bad to just ha say I have one, I will open up this thing right here and just put one in my inventory. But honestly, I'm it, it was more or less just to kind of be like sort of like completionist wise, just to get one. Uh, I, I don't think I would actually use one. But anyway, let's take a look at the gear. So we are actually ending on some pretty good stuff. I do apologize if this video was very random. I, I don't even know what the hell this is going to be at the end of it. Uh, but we are ending on some pretty good stuff. Uh, we have our nice collection of light shows. I definitely need to re-roll this one. was able to get the dowsing rod. I don't know if Lucian's calling a machine or something, I think, at some point. Got the miscreant. Uh, and then I have some other monarchs. Got the molten sickle, ion cannon, Lyuda. Got the boogeyman from Arms Race. All yes, yeah, so we just got some random stuff. And then we have a bunch of class mods. We actually didn't get an upgraded class mod from Jackbot, which I might actually uh, farm him a little bit for the next video. I don't know yet. Um, as for grenades, we have a good amount of options here. So we have three cloning hunter seekers. Uh, the one that I'm rocking right now. Uh, has on grenade throw, weapon grenade, and action skill damage increase. And then another one has corrosive damage and then radiation damage. Um, this one is just a normal one with cryo. And then I have a piss grenade, which is going to debuff enemies and also has on grenade throw. And then this core buster rolled with on grenade throw, so I decided to keep it. Now for a more in-depth breakdown of the weapons. Kind of what I did with the monarchs here, and then I'm going to attempt to maybe do it with the light shows I don't know yet there's just gonna be a lot more farming uh, <laughs> is I'm trying to go for action skill damage basically like while it's active I just do more damage and so I was able to get fadeaway weapon damage I rerolled this corrosive one was able to land on that the fire one has it uh, and then the radiation one rerolled with action skill active weapon damage it's increased by 100% and then the storming monarch I decided to just go ahead and keep it on this one because if I'm pulling this out it is probably gonna be against like a boss enemy or like a named enemy that just needs to get a shield taken down against normal enemies it does it does enough damage so I decided to keep this anointment um, and then this revolter on action skill start activate any trigger effects that on shield breaker fill so I pretty much just go in the fade away and then bam I start doing more damage so now I will say for now I went ahead and just uh, since I did farm for this, it is at the end of the last playthrough. I am rocking this Vladoff company, man, from oh, Mosey Voorhees. <laughs> um, as for the skill tree, here is the blue tree. Got a couple extra points, of course, from our class mod right here. Red tree, and then this is our green tree. And we're not really rocking anything in the purple tree right now. But I do want to go ahead and apologize for the massive amount of delays when it came to this episode. The amount of farming that I had to do delayed it a lot. Uh, outside stuff like kittens, you know, flooding my house, work, just being exhausted, and then on top of that, just trying to farm for Iridium so I can re-roll this crap. Uh, this definitely was a grind episode, and I think when we come back, I'm going to farm a little bit more, and then we're going to go tackle some in-game stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Catch you in the next episode. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.